as we know lung cancer is the most common cancer which affects men globally and it is the most common cause of mortality also among men as well as women so how do a lung cancer patient presents to a pulmonologist so the most common symptom with a lung, which a lung cancer patient comes to us is prolonged dystrophy of cough so a cough which is not going beyond the duration of maybe 2 to 4 weeks again is a very important symptom which we should not overlook at then what are the other symptoms which a lung cancer patient can present to us with it can be in the form of breathing difficulty it can be in the form of a low grade fever which is going on since few days it can be in the form of blood coming out from sputum so if you have any of these symptoms along with history of a loss of appetite history of when you don't have when you have a history of a weight loss then these are the symptoms which should be taken in seriously especially for those of us who are involved in occupations where we have a lot of smoke exposure for those who smoke heavily for those who are involved in occupation like asbestos mining silica these patients these person uh, population whosoever has any of these symptoms should consult a pulmonologist immediately now how can we diagnose a lung cancer so we all know that cancer is basically a pathological diagnosis whenever somebody comes to us with these symptoms we run a few battery panel of tests which include blood test which include ct scans maybe a pet scan and then depending upon wherever the growth or the mass or the feature of lung cancer is there we do a sampling so by sampling i mean we take a biopsy from that area and depending upon the biopsy report we diagnose that this particular patient is having lung cancer at the last i would like to tell you that nowadays there are lot of therapies available for these diseases so we should not get disheartened when somebody tells us that there is a possibility of a lung cancer because again the cancer will be confirmed only by a biopsy report which will be done which will uh, which you will get only after getting your patient sampled and even if you are diagnosed with a lung cancer there are multiple kind of modalities which are now available which can help us fight this cancer now lung cancer is a disease which is more commonly seen in elderly males and usually there is this history of smoking however in india a lot of females also develop this and most of these females would actually be non smokers so that would be an asian indian phenotype of lung cancer where do we, we do see a lot of lung cancer in females who are non smokers otherwise classically lung cancer is the disease of elderly patients who have been smoking for a substantial period of time now the symptoms of lung cancer very often would mimic a lot of other infections such as tuberculosis such as other chest infections maybe even copd and asthma so a lot of these patients would be misdiagnosed as having some kind of a chest infection they would be you know shifting doctors they would be having tuberculosis medicines they would be given medicines to take care of their respiratory symptoms but people don't suspect lung cancer and that's a big issue so we need to understand that the symptoms of lung cancer would depend on where the lung cancer is inside the lungs if it is in the center of the lungs the patients would come up with sputum cough and bleeding from the airways if the lung cancer is situated in the periphery of the lung towards the ribs the patient would come with chest pain and a pleuritic you know a rib pain so the presentation of lung cancer can actually be multifaceted uh, the only thing that a physician needs to keep in mind is to suspect it and then work it up in a patient where these symptoms are present so lung cancer is something which is very commonly seen in our part of practice it is something that we see very very often and unfortunately a lot of these patients come to us in advanced disease with advanced disease so the crux of the matter is to identify the symptoms and to work up these patients early because when we pick up lung cancer at an early stage you know we treat the patients with a therapeutic intent with an intent to cure and when the patient comes to us very late we treat them with a palliative intent that is where we cannot save them from the disease we can only you know provide them some kind of a succor to to kind of you know tide over the period that they have left behind so it is very important to pick up signs and symptoms of lung cancer early so that the patients can be given appropriate therapy thank you if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments below And of course subscribe for more content on health and lifestyle